And hello everybody. Hello and welcome back. We are, of course, back uh, today with more Demon Souls, as always. You know me. I like to finish up my uh, my series before I continue on to the next. So let me uh, switch over and give you some audio. Now, <clears throat> a couple of things. I finally uh, got around yesterday uh, to grind some souls. And, well, actually, healing items was, like, the main part I wanted to grind. And I did so successfully, as you can see. I currently removed the uh, green herbs from the inventory. Because we actually managed to cap out on those. And I found that items stack till 99. So we put uh, 99 of those in our dear storage boy. Um, and then we have... 27 half moon, 50 late moon, and 84 full moon, because it turns out the, uh, uh, one, what is this, one, three, one, four? One, three. Is, uh, pretty good when it comes to that. Like, a full run drops you, like, maybe a dozen to, like, 15, maybe even more. Um items, like full moon grass and some half moons. So that's pretty insane. And one run gives you like over 10,000 souls. So what I ended up doing was um, I did a couple of runs for a few hours. We gra ground out a couple of souls, so I got a, a couple more levels. And uh, then I found this one door by accident. I wanted to stream that, like, just doing a little bit of grind that I wasn't going to upload to the to the VOD, uh, to the archive. Um, but then, like, in the middle of it, we, uh, I got notified that uh, Celeste was going to want to play some Minecraft, so that is what we switched over later on. And I didn't start my stream before then. But yeah, um, that is what we did. And then that door, because we got the, the, the rusty keys. Was it the rusty keys? Oh, uh, we got a pair of keys from that one clown guy. And uh, that opened that door that was in the uh, in, in the uh, walkway before the tower night. And that just goes down into a couple of cells and uh, there was this dude. So I freed him. And then, who was that? And then we got his armor set, basically. I think it's his armor set. Yeah. Which is, looks the mega chunk, by the way. Um, and it's very heavy. <clears throat> so, with my levels... I changed a couple of things. We put back on the, uh, the Ring of Great Strength so that I can wear the outfit. Just not with the helmet is the thing. Uh, we're at half. Yeah, this armor is quite a bit heavier because normally we were at 40 item bird and now we're at 73. But this armor does also have like a, a much greater physical protection. Like about 10 points more physical protection per armor piece than the previous one that we equipped. And since we are in body form at the moment, I, I am keeping the regenerator string for now. Uh, should we die, which will probably happen at some point, uh, I'm going to slap on instead of the regenerator, I'm going to put on the... Uh, 
Uh, the ring that gives us 25% more health while in soul form. And yeah, that's that's it, pretty much. Oh, and I went to uh, Stonefang Mine Tunnel. And I formed some bugbears, because we needed uh, two more chunks to upgrade the uh, sword. The uh, dragon sword to level 5, which is the highest level. So we make a total combined of 302 damage now, 100 and... 150, 151 physical, 151 fire. Which is very nice. Um, I don't know where to put my skill points next, because I, I have like a decent amount of health and stamina now. I'm thinking we might, if we run into the issue of an enemy having fire resistance, what we're going to end up having to do is switch over to the falchion, because at least that scales. However, that scales. It scales A with magic. That does 203. Yeah, that does, that does 302. That does 235, but it does fire damage instead. I wish that would scale with something, like, even, like, a D scaling would be nice. Um, but yeah, let's just hope that maybe we don't run into enemies that have a super high fire resistance. That would be, uh, that would be good. And since we cleared out Stonefang Mine, which is, um, you know, the area with a lot of fire, I'm hoping that fire will be effective in the other three worlds. Anyway... That's enough talking. Let's jump back in. Let's take our slightly adjusted build for a spin. Because if I recall, we still have a couple of things to do over here. And the blizzard's already running away. Okay, well. Ow. Kind of ridiculous how much damage they do. But yeah. As you can see, the enemies in this part of the game. Three full moon grass just... Got to switch my sword. And three lotus... Hoping that I can trigger them independently. Wasn't too bad. Penetrating sword. Ooh. Oh, that. Wait. It's a straight sword, but it requires twenty-two strength. Holy macaroni! See dexterity scaling. Yeah, I don't know. Big. Didn't look that big. I, I, I guess it's kind of long, yeah. Also, hello, XY. 
I'm just gonna call you XY since there's a lot of X and Ys in your name. Welcome to the stream. Don't think I've seen you before. So welcome. Let's see if we can... Okay. Well... Ah! I don't like you. Oh, you're a spear guy as well. Do you have the big tower knight shield? Eh. At least I don't have that much health. Try to parry him, but he probably does like a lot of damage. Ow. Yep. What? Weapon broken? What the fuck do you mean weapon broken? What? What do you mean weapon broken? I don't understand. Yeah, my, apparently my fucking sword is broken too. Yeah, sword and shield are broken. Are you kidding me? Of course, and it doesn't backstab. Great. Man, I already hated weapon breaking. Ow. I already hated weapon breaking in, uh. Dark Souls. Which Dark Souls was that? Two? Was that two or. Yeah, that was two, I think, where the weapon broken was so bad. Since. Because it was. Because it was broken on, on PC. And they never fixed it. Uh -huh. uh. Well, great. Good thing I don't have a Ed Scrydstone equipped. Now watch him fucking heal. I'm waiting for that. Fuck, it didn't it didn't take my input. <sighs> Off to a absolutely terrific, tremendous start. I'm assuming you mean cannot cancel the animation? No, it didn't even take my input. Where's all of the humanity is? There they are. We have so many, we might as well. Fucking just... <sighs> Why is that even a thing? I 
guess we're equipping a grindstone. Great. Don't fix my shield, though. I want to check if they actually respawn or if the red fandoms stay dead. Okay, the red fandoms actually stay dead. Good. Can you get off this goddamn thing? I can't even get on this thing. You know what? Might as well just use full moon grass with how much stuff they're shoving in our face. What about magic? I didn't even use magic. Let's see if we can aggro only one. I think it doesn't matter because one of them is like a like a hunter, and he's just gonna shoot us with arrows. It's like magic arrows as well. Just got you. You have infinite of them, don't you? Yep. What are you doing? You was just standing there. Alright, come on, big boy. What a shame they ain't no team damage. I guess 29 damage for hitting a shield is not terrible. That's so... Like, that. that is something I hate. When he turns around, he's straight up shooting his back, and then he's just like, Nope, still gonna block it. I don't think he can get, he can come any closer than that because there's the nexus point. Great, which means after they're dead, I gotta go back to the nexus and actually repair my shit. Eh, sixteen thousand souls, my god! And he drops a tower shield. Now we can level up even more. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, now you come here. You really think you're gonna going to be like problematic? She has a sword. But I can stagger your ass. Oh, right, my shield is still broken. Hold on, one second, there we go. What? 
the fuck was that? Fuck was that? Like seriously, white bow. Did you have like a like a scimitar? Fireman C and the bow is like the fuck kind of traits did you skill in that you have all of these things? Alright, what does the white bow do? It requires how much? 30 strength and 24 dexterity? What the fuck a bow is this? And it only scales E. Huh. Well, I guess now those are out of the way. Were those like the knights? I know there was like mention of the knights. Uh, protecting the king, the knights with the black souls or something like that. That that might have been that. I can forge weapons. That costs how many souls to repair? Six thousand souls to repair. Six thousand souls. Eighteen thousand souls to repair the entire set. Do come back alive. Are you fucking? Are you fucking crazy, old man? Brother. I don't know, I might just switch back to the other armor set just because it's so much cheaper to repair. What the fuck? Mm. Let's go and drink some water. Man, I wonder why all of those things were dropped in the in the, in the future games. Granted, apparently it was bugged in Demon uh, in Dark Souls 2. Because Dark Souls 2 was the only game where I actually kept repair powder on me because sometimes uh, weapons would just uh, break mid combat. I guess we'll see how many Best levels we can make. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Like one? Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Hmm. So the world might be mended. Yeah, I didn't put jack shit on the strength this run. So... Magic is the thing that we're using, right? Yes, because faith is miracles. That increases magic power. And intelligence just increases the uh, spell memory and MP. So we need... 7,000 more souls, we can do that. You do so much shit. There you go, one thousand. No, I, I still, I still have no idea. What to actually do with the boss souls? Like, I have all of these boss souls, and I still have no way to make boss weapons. I kept talking to both smiths, and both smiths don't tell me, uh, Hey, 
go there or do this, and then we can use the souls to make good shit. Not one more, right? Oh boy. Eh. Why is my armrest so sticky? Well, not sticky as in physically sticky, just sticky as in I can't move it that easily. Thou seeketh then touch, soul of the mind, key to life's ether, soul of the lost, withdraw. I mean, I guess more intelligence be nice for more MP, but our levels are kind of like really expensive already. So the world might be mended. I'm just gonna like our our stamina and, and health is really good at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to keep dumping things into magic for now, just in case we run into something that our fire sword can't handle, then we can switch to, switch to the falchion. Okay. Well, that was annoying. Sure hope we won't have to deal with any more of that. Thousands. Ow. Get off the thing, whatever it is. Honestly, just farming these three uh, gives like a shit ton. Like I have so much, I have so much. What is this? Full moon grass that heals so much health already. It's so dark break here. Hey, humanity, nice. Damn right. Not even scared of those anymore. Though he has a lot more health than the than the ones on the bridge. Or f my god, we're gonna cap out at full moon grass here in a second. Heard somebody heal. I don't appreciate it when they do that. Probably the archer down there. No? Okay. Hmm. I don't like how strong everything is. Like, even the bandits take too heavy. Okay, that's an aggressive one.
Oh, new moon grass, even. Oh, those are just jesters. Oh, great. I forgot my bow. Well, shit. Right, hold on just a second. It's um yeah, fucking who who do you who do you guys think you're watching here, huh? I ain't dealing with no fucking dragon on a bridge while there's jesters on the fucking thing. Fucking think we're gonna do this legit? Nah. If Dark Souls has taught me one thing, never try to fight the game with its own weapons. Always find ways to cheese it. You will get no reward from doing things the intended way. It will bring you only pain and suffering. Hello again, I'm keeping... Compound bow plus one. Where's our arrows? Wait, you item. A... Oh shit! Right. Thomas. Hello again. Keep. Oh, we have so much crap. Thirty weight units. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I guess all of the grass that we carry, like, because 10 grass are also 8 pounds, so that's 8 pounds. That's like 5 pounds. I guess we don't really need to keep the those on us, right? Because we're out of the poison area. Hopefully. Ninety-eight. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if three hundred arrows is gonna be enough. You have a. Can we actually upgrade I can... that? I I picked up a bunch. But that just requires regular shards. That's four, that's, that's five more damage. Oh well, I guess, I guess if we do one damage more per arrow, right? It's like maybe a couple arrows we have to fire less. Where do I get shards of hardstone? Where do I get shards? Shards, shards. Well, wasn't that, wasn't that the, uh, didn't the blobs drop shards? I think the blobs were the ones that dropped shards, right? Hold on, let me check that real quick. Aren't stone because we have like we have like a bunch of like the chunks and whatnot, but we need the smaller shards. Or 
Or we could just buy them, it says. You can buy them from the filthy man at the stone thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Do come back. Oh man. Would just be really nice if I didn't have to travel away from the Nexus. Every time. Good thing we're flush on healing items still. Also, it wasn't that bad. Like, I farmed like what? over 50 of the full moon grass things in um, in like two hours yesterday, two and a half hours, something like that. Oh god, I missed that my mistake. Yes, I didn't. I did in fact die. I think. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm just like all over the the controls today. I'm gonna be honest. Hey Celeste, how you doing? How'd you sleep? Uh yes, hardstone. Thirty-three should be enough to upgrade, right? <laughs> Hold on, I need I need like a couple more. We have so many of those souls that I never used. Someone donated 3k to the charity. Hey, if I had that kind of money, I probably would. Like, that's that's all I want to do, to be honest. It's like, when, oh god. Should I ever get to the point of having plenty of money? Like, yeah, I would, I would want to have a comfortable life, sure. I would, I would want to have, like, my streaming equipment be, like, nice and pimped up. You know, I have, like, a really good computer so that I could play, uh, and probably keep the computer on, like, the, the always high-end standards. That's probably what I would do. But that would be the only extent of, like, luxury goods that I would partake in, really. I don't need anything else. I don't, I don't have any other needs, to be honest. I'm, like, comfortable as I am. And, of course, put some into savings in case anything happens to, like, family or whatever. And then if I have, like, above that... If I had more money than that, then, you know, that would just be money that I would probably use to make other people happy. Because I don't get it when... when people are just hoarding... piles of money... and then never do anything with it. Like this. I don't, I don't know. I can only call it, like, a dragon sim uh, syndrome. If it be a black... Ice grade of all. Okay, well. Might as well repair our shit, why not? Oh no, he can upgrade standard stuff. Neat. Wait. Oh, that changes the scaling. Okay. Sp 
spider stone. So that changes the scaling to C with dexterity. Yeah. I give s okay. Well, I don't have either. I don't really have dexterity or strength, so. That's not a bad power increase, though. Them fecking dragons don't stand a chance. Wait, what? Lava bow. Oh my god, that is how- Oh my god, that's how I make the boss weapons! I figured it out! They have a prerequisite! And now I remember, cause cause um, Dark Souls has a similar system. Before you have, before in Dark Souls 2, you just buy the boss weapon straight from a trader. You need a specific type of item at a specific level before you can Im 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 imbue it with the soul of a boss, and then create a new weapon out of that. I never thought of that. So what? It's a it's a lava bow, but and it requires twenty one strength to operate. Great. And it scales E with magic, but it doesn't do any magic damage. It's really weird. Well, shit. Now we're missing, like, everything to make it even better. But it, 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 it's pretty good now. We're, like, almost double the damage on that thing. That's dra the stupid dragon stands no chance. Well done. What's, like, a really, really strong... Like, what's like a super OP weapon in this game? Celeste! Uh, oh, I'm going to high. Heh. Celeste! We're popping another humanity, yeah. Drink water, you dehydrated bitch! Water? We can, we can drink some water. Thank you for the hydrate. I know hydration is important. <laughs> you could have you could have just yes. You could have just said yes. I'm still here. Um, did you guys uh, fix the uh, the server issue yet? With, with the Minecraft server. Cause honestly, like now that we played a bit yesterday, I've like I have like a real big itch to to play more. I gotta say, it's like this problem that I have whenever I I have not played this game in a while, and then and then somebody's like, "Hey, let's play this game," and I'm like, "Okay," and then I kind of like rediscover that there's a reason why everybody loves Minecraft. Uh, Thirty-eight damage. That's not bad. Oh. Yes, and Kaylee is a precious bean who needs to be put back in the box. Huh. So was that a yes, the server is fixed? 
Also, why do you keep calling me a precious bean? I don't even have beans. You have beans. Okay, good. Well, I know you said you don't want to... You're not streaming today, because it's Friday, but do you want to play anyway? Because I'm, like, down to play. And honestly, since we did some farming, if you want to, like... If you're interested in setting up a farming server as well at some point, like, maybe not at the same time, because both those games require, like, a boatload of time. Oh, oh, lizard! Oh, lizard! Oh, lizard! Waiting for Baltro to get back from. Oh no, what happened to Baltro? Baltro okay? Oh, we're literally gonna cap out at full moon grass. I should probably have put some in the chest. Actually, uh... oh, you. Oh! Okay. Bye! Okay, well... carry any more of what? Has to talk to them and see if his new meds are working or not. Does he have like a chronic condition? Oh, could you walk any slower? Hey, hey, Celeste. I imagine this is what you look like whenever you come around here to, to troll me. Like, this is exactly the type of walk that, that you would have. Alright. Fuck you. Damn it. Why don't I just shoot you in the leg? It does a whole nine damage. The head does less damage than the leg? What about the tail? Seven damage. Nine damage. Alright, well... Guess what we'll be doing for the next half hour. Why are you poking me? What's up? Really hope 350 arrows is enough. My finger's gonna be real tired after this. What if this stupid thing just flies away? I want to be upset if that thing just flies away. You know, 
I don't remember why I set up that roar thing in the first place. I think I just thought it was funny. So at least it's not like Dark Souls where we have to, uh... Roar. Wait every single time in between two for our stamina to regenerate. I wonder if upgrading the bow even did, like, anything at all. This thing has a lot of health. Like, my god. This thing has, like, way more health than the red dragon. Because the red dragon only took about 150 arrows. This thing already ate 60 arrows, and yeah, well, you can see where the health is at. This might be a problem. This might be just a very slight problem. Wonder, do we do more damage if we're closer? We do. I'm shooting the dragon in the thigh. Hey, we increased our damage by like a whole twenty percent from eight to from eight to ten. At least when we hit the like, raid. Eleven. Guess the drag is not super happy about that. Nala, what would be your input if somebody did that to you? Hold on. Wonder how far we can get before the fire actually hits us. Thirteen damage. Each, each point of damage counts here. Making upgrades. With the dragon's chest, is there like a spot that does more damage? Nope. Wait. Fifteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Thai really seems to be one of the best places for this. Fuck.
16. I can't really tell, but I think we're like almost half. Oh man, I do I do love the bow. We might be like standing right on the cusp of uh, of not getting hit by the flames. Well, we're all halfway done. We also used up two thirds of our arrows, so uh, might be cutting it pretty close there. I knew it. I knew it. The stupid thing is just pissing off now. You suck. the dragon like I mean I guess that's one way to make progress right Oh, lizard! Chunk of hearthstone. We actually need that to upgrade our bow more. Dragon. I mean, how the fuck do we get up there, though? Knight sword, knight shield. Wait, we can't open this? Wait, is that the boy we rescued? Might be. Hey, can you, like, survive a little bit longer? Ah, he's good. Huh. You need some help? Leave the flying lizard to me! I shine upon our lord! Um, I don't 
really sure this is doing anything. So you seem to be eating shit a lot. Made it past. Oh shit, can't aim that high. Shit. Okay, the wings have no collision. Is that a Strava? Yeah, Strava. Oh, it's you, is it? Yes. My father is up above. <laughs> well, what's left of him anyway? He's transformed into a fiendish demon. I began this quest in a search for truth. But it seems I was a fool to even try. Please, kill my father. In his degenerated state, he can only bring peril to the lands. This key fits the Boletaria Mausoleum. Inside the mausoleum are my father's two swords, Soulbrand and Demonbrand. Use them to bring an end to this madness. Wait, what? Ostrava? Well, now our other boy is, is slowly dying out there. What do I do about that? There are a lot of things that are very unfortunate that are transpiring right now. Wait, is that the king? Wait, no, that's that's fucking a phantom form of Ostrava. And his stupid short sword can penetrate my shield. Ow. Why did you do the stupid push animation again? Damn it. Rune sword and rune shield. I think our boy is almost dead down there. Yep, our boy is dead. Leave the flying lizard to me, he says. Proceeds to immediately eat shit. Where's the mausoleum? What is that? Uh, oh, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, 
Um. I was. What? Why are you going back down? I didn't want to go back down. Damn it. Well, let's watch this again. So I guess let's actually... Uh, the wooden catalyst. I wonder if he's gonna be vulnerable to, to poison them. Wouldn't that be funny? What if it's like a big fuck off demon and we have enough levels uh, for another level up? Oh man. Well, let's see how bad this is gonna be. Can we see him? What kind of Virgil looking ass are you? Stun lock him. Oh my god, he does. That does very little damage to him. Ah. Just range has that, are you kidding me? No. 
So basically, when I when I get out of lock-on range is when I can actually hit. Can you like not do that? Maybe. Uh... Oh wow, that does like no damage. You what? Soul level drain? The fuck does that mean? Oh my god, why does it take why does it take twelve years to eat the fucking grass? Just put it in your face! Oh, Jesus Christ. why I didn't eat the fucking grass again. Yeah, get fucked. Ah. Silver trophy, yeah. So what did soul level drain mean? Did he steal levels from me? Did he steal levels from me? What levels did he steal? And besides us not doing a whole bunch of damage, it, um... False king. How did you defeat my precious demon? Where? No human has an appetite for souls such as you. The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be back in again. Check if the is the dragon still alive. I can't really see. So I would like the items on the bridge, but the dragon's gonna be a dick about it. Dragons always such dicks. Oh, I guess we can check that. Oh, well... Am 
Man, I really sure up that was the strongest boss in the game. Aw, oh, now our boys are dead. I thought they couldn't die. Because their, their souls should be returning to the Nexus. Man. Thou seeketh soul, then touch. Soul touch. Of the mind, key to life's ether. So what levels did you, did you steal? I have no idea. Drawn from its vessel. What did we have before? So the world might be mended. I think we had 33 so endurance. Might be mended. Maybe? Let's put a couple more points of magic, just in case. I kind of want to put a point or two in, in magic, just so we have a little bit more. Need twenty nine thousand. So I need six thousand more. Out out main. That's not a problem. Man, I have so many things. Thou seek then soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Out thou the main. All right. I can forge deep inside stone bones. Huh. Guess it really just depends on how damaged the armor is. Interesting. Do come. Hello again. I'm keeping. Deposit items. Knight's sword. That's not a strength based weapon, though. Sword. Oh, that does magic damage as well. Neat. Knight's shield. Kinda like Ostrava's shield though. 18 magic. We don't have 18 magic, do we? Well, Knight's shield has guard break reduction. I think guard break reduction is the amount, right? I believe. Where did the music change? I, I don't like the music. I, li I like the other music. It's heavier, but... <coughs> Fuck, we don't have enough strength for it. God damn it. I'm such a weak boy. Drink water, you dehydrated bitch! Hello, Talaxis. How do you do it? I can't imagine what it takes to slay a demon. If only I could assist in this fight. You're, you're good, Thomas. If only I could assist in this fight. Drink some water. Uh. Do a little stretchy. You have a heart of gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that 
fucking sucks though, like, Ostrava, well I guess Ostrava would have killed himself one way or the other, right? Um, kinda sucks for, for our boy here, but he didn't really do jack shit against the, against the dragon, I'm gonna be honest there. But yeah, it means we're done with this. We're done with this. Which means we have the towers left. The Skelly Boys, and we did this. Which means we have two worlds left at this point. Let, let's check out the Skellies, I guess. It's 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 been like what two worlds since we last been here and now we have our sword and everything so maybe just maybe we're going to be slightly uh more fruitful this time around though I think oh, I threw my kunai's didn't I I didn't Hopefully the trader guy is still standing here if not that would suck. Oh, thank God he's still here. Oh. How are you doing, Talaxis? Hold on. Be sure. Actually, that's a good point. How much damage does the- Oh my god. Apparently these things are very vulnerable to fire. Fucking good! of snow and surviving, I think. Yeah, but you're a snow leopard. You like the snow. You know what? Isn't it funny that a skeleton is vulnerable to poison? I feel like there's irony in this. Where's Brad? Where's Brad when you need him? To make skeleton-related jokes. But we have, like, everything. We're, like, I don't, I don't know, 30, 40 levels higher than last time we've been here. We have a big-ass armor. We have, like, a much better sword. We should be walking through here. No issue whatsoever. There we go. Dazib! Alright, this is where Patches fucking juked us. Hey, boys! Wait, where's the flying bastards? There you are, you pieces of shit. Remember me? I'm back for round two. That's more like it. Stupid skeletons. Early skeletons are weak to fire, who knew? Oh my god.
Just unlocking bullshit. Hey, my god! Pass this shit. Thank God. Oh, hey, full moon grass. Now, I know there were like laser boys down here, which kind of sucks, but. Yep. Interestingly enough, they're weak to fire, so. You know, you know what I just thought of? They look like the Elden Beast. The final boss from, from Elden Ring. I wonder if there's a relation. Uh, or if, uh, you know... FromSoft just runs out of ideas at some point. Man, we're just like... Walking through here now like it's nobody's business. Oh. Ow! What in the what in the fuck? Spawn. All right then. Oh hey. Well. I think this is like the extent of where we had gotten last time, right? Because I managed to find the skeleton. Yeah, and pick up the item. Spectral women. Strange. They respawn in these ponds, it seems. Oh, that's not fair. But I think we got to him. I think we got to that point, I believe. So far, so good. Um, slugs. Great. Just gonna assume that if we touch these things, we'll just die. So I'm just going to do my best to uh, not touch them. Sticky white stuff. Great. 
great. Ah, uh, God. Okay, I guess it just explodes. Never mind. Could have been worse. If anybody sees, like, items, let me know. Bunch of dead people. And a fog wall. With an item behind them. Hmm. Something about the Scream's boss arena could just be me. Yeah. Yeah. now Oh, he's just slipping. Mm -hmm. What are what are physical objects really? Camera. Why is it not taking my input sometimes when when I try to heal? The, the, oh my god, the camera! One stamina today, please.
we have so many healing items, just uh, stock up while we have the chance. Stab him in the ass! I can't camera. Yeah, really at our level that really wasn't that bad. At all. Once again, one of those bosses where you fight the camera more than the actual boss. Oh wait, this is where the guy fell. Holy arrows. Hero's Demon Soul. Uh, I have 60,000. Yes. Might as well. What are you doing? You okay? Thou seekest then soul of the mind. She looks a little depressed sometimes. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Uh, need a couple more souls. I'll doubt me. Do do. Uh, nope. Thou then soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. Uh, so the world sure. might be mended. Art thou done, main? Can always need more, more stamina, right? Do we need to drop off anything? Maybe. Oh, I'm keep. Deposit. Well, we can always drop off the shards, for sure. Drop off the holy arrows. Kinda crazy we haven't found more of those arch stones. They're also very expensive. You have a very expensive. They cost five thousand at patches a store. Uh, oh, I, I miss Ostrava. Wait, that kind of like... Now that I think about it, though... That sucks, because no matter what we do... Ostrava always dies. Like, either we don't help him and he dies, or we help him, and at the end, he also dies. That sucks. God, not the audio crackle again. You look nasty. Oh God, and you have more of these assholes on your on your stomach. You're like a mothership for assholes. But fuck you. Where is he? Damn it. 
Yeah, fucking. Come at me, bro. Loud stuff. Kind of annoying because we used to be able to insta kill those things. Is there infinite of them? Sure hope not. Somebody count us there if there's infinite of them. Damn it. I feel like the number is reducing. Stupid flying things. There's the Storm King. Oh, well he's just coming right in, isn't he? And he spawns more. Hold on, we need to... Oh god. I just realized, sort of, without even thinking about it, this is a fucking boss that you can't even fight in melee. Yeah? Ow. Item is floating. No oh, Gladstone.
when he's getting closer, you bitch. I grabbed Kaylee's arm and put salt and pepper on it. Why did you put salt and pepper on my arm? It's crystal lizard down there. Oh god. Oh god, they're homing in. is bad. Like somebody has a, uh, a pure melee. Then they legitimately could not fight this boss. That is very sharksist, yes. Bad telaxes. This thing is stupid, and I hate it. I'm not the one chewing on a shark. You can chew on a shark affectionately without hurting the shark. Re. Ow. Spice packs. We need to buy more spice packs. I numb respectfully. I trust Lonnie. When they say that they numb respectfully, then they numb respectfully. I don't think you need more salt on the shark, though. Cry mini Christmas. Ow. Yes, get fucked, you stupid thing. Forty thousand souls. The lizard is still there. Go where you lizard bitch! Go where you lizard bitch! Chunk of dark moonstone. Chark is goldfish member. What do you mean? 
I think this is a white uh, storm ruler. I think this is a white um, world tendency item again. Also, how are you doing today, Lani? I hope work. I didn't see you again yesterday. I hope work went well. Well, that was really quick and painless. It took like half an hour. It's like sad though, because now we only have we we finished four of the the five stones, it means we only have one stone left. Are we getting close to finishing this game? Is Demon so like we did not? Hold on, let me check real quick how long the playtime has been. Does that update? Twenty-six hours. It says that we played twenty-six hours. That's not that long, to be honest. Like usually Dark Souls and whatnot, one one run is about is about forty hours, I think. Because this feels like unless this unless this this archstone up there is just an absolute tremendous pain in the in the dick, which I wouldn't put past the game, honestly. Thank goodness, I was worried. Doesn't remember that different season and shoot on by the very Leilani they trust. And blames the snap. That Leilani only wants to wants to nom, okay? Also Leilani didn't bring up the, the whole shark fin business. That's 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 a sore subject. Okay. Say no to shark fin. Anything. The shark fins belong to the shark. Do not touch the fins. I was asking. Fair enough, I guess. But why do you want why do you want shark fins? Alexis, you know you, uh, you have your food bowl and it's always full of kibble. Like you always have plenty of food. Put that away. What if I should even like replace the ha half moon grass? We are in. Um. I can fo If everything, a little bit of a touch up. She salted and pepper, and I was asking if it was shark fin soup. She said sushi. Do come. Um... What can I say? We should level up, is what I can say. Thou seek then Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the Fuck. lost, withdrawn from its... It's not really much we can do at the moment, can we? strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Also, Chaz is covering up my thing again, but I can barely see we need to bet 4,000 more souls from what it looks like. I'll doubt the main... Get endurance to 36s as well. Let's 
sexy long necks and long thick tongue. Keep your cubicle, I'll just sit in the corner and duct tape my muscle shut. <laughs> Apparently this place is full of anti-snap. Wow. Thou seek then Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Art thou done? Main th Yes. That that was done. Very done. Oh Telexus. Such a little little silly cat sometimes. Oh no, not the fucking Plagrets again! You gotta head out, Lonnie. Take care. You too, Lonnie. You too. Hope you have a good day at work. Hopefully no one bothers you, okay? I don't like that sound. It's another fucking place that's dark as shit. See you later, Lonnie! It appears to be locked. Wait, what the f- What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Ew! Ah, oh, God! Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, no, God! Why can you spam cast so fast? Fuck you! I would if I knew where you go, 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 die, 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 Oh my god. What the fuck are you? Come on, turn around. Whoop. Oh, where'd she go? Come on. Oh, you look like a squid face. The fuck? At least they die easily enough. Oh! 3F. Prison of Hope. Mind Flare? Yeah, they look a bit like Mind Flares, don't they? Can we open all of the prison doors now? Is that a thing? Help me! I'm like starting to wonder, is there like even other catalysts in the game? Because we literally only found the wooden catalyst, that's it. Moonlight Stone? He has a knife! Ow! How dare! Okay, good. Wait, can we open this now? No. Okay. I don't like the bells. Where the fuck are you? Probably 
probably above or below. So it's very dark again. If it, if it's looking dark for you guys, trust me, it's looking just as dark for me. Yeah? He's dead. Okay. Honestly, I feel like... I feel like FromSoft keeps recycling areas. Because, like, this totally reminds me of the prison area in Dark Souls 3. Man, all of this might kind of makes me want to play Dark Souls 3 again. I had a lot of fun with Dark Souls 3. Guys. So rude! S stock? Huh. I, I get you guys out, and what, what do you do? You try to stab me. Oh, there's the wizard, I think. Oh, they drop old spice. Interesting. Mercury stone. Yeah, no. I'm 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 not gonna jump down here. Fuck that. That just looks like DF. Just gives two. Sure, why not? My god, we look so pretty now. And we're still fast rolling, okay. Prefer mountain spring water to old spice? Does mountain spring water restore uh, mana just as good? Is the question. What? Prison of Hope East, 3F. Okay, who the fuck. Like, let's be real, okay? Who the fuck calls a prison Prison of Hope? Like, giving a a, a a prison a nickname if it has a bad reputation, that's one thing. But actually calling the prison, prison of whole- OW! The fuck? Who gave you guys spears? What kind of fucking prison is this? What? 
Well, shit. Where do I go now? Oh, can I open? Maybe I can open the door at the very beginning now. Nope, that don't loop. Madman. Oh, Lord. Well. Wasn't it wasn't a thing with the Iron Maiden though? Hold on, I think I remember something. Wasn't the uh, the Iron Maiden like made up? Wasn't it like something about the Iron Maiden being completely fictional or something like that? There, that there is actually no evidence of it ever being used or something like that. I feel like I recall something. Four F. I did not like that noise. Fresh spice. Oh shit. <laughs> There was dudes sitting in these bases. That's kind of funny. Excuse me. Now where is the key though? Oh. Assassin's outfit, okay. Do they kind of like want to jump scare you every time you open one of these or something? Oh, there's the key. 4F and 4F Selkia. I just oh I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it. Why does he poison though? Also poison instantly, might I add. Yeah, there's like no way that we can get down there. But there was another door. I 
think it was that door back here, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I get up? Whoops. Uh, lots more fresh spice, though. I like that. Okay. I'm assuming since we got two keys... Was there another cell that we couldn't open back right here? I think so. Yeah. Dagger. Okay. Why so spicy? Well, you see, apparently, uh, shoving spice in your face. Claws in this game. Uh, causes you to regenerate mana. Yes. I still have no idea how to get to the wizard, but uh, we won't leave without him. Even if the wizard's not really going to do anything for us at this point, because I'm pretty sure we're already stacked. I don't think it's going to be much that we can do anymore to improve our current build right now. I really hope I don't have to like drop down or something. Get fucked, squid. <laughs> Guys, have you not heard? I literally, I, I was literally the one that killed the old king. Do you really think your little daggers can do anything to me? That singing. Anything that sounds innocent never is. Not in Dark Souls. That's so stupid. Let us open the other one first before I use my last Lotus. Magical sharpness. Okay. I can hear the, uh, the spell. The light spell that the wizard has going. Oh, this might be it. This might be the, because uh, I think this is the other side.
Why can't we open all these cells if there's nothing in here? It appears to be locked. Really? Yeah. We could probably drop down here. Well, he seems to be chilling, though. Oh. One F. Appears to be locked. Oh my goodness. Used to be locked. Fog wall. Not gonna go there just yet, because that's the fog wall is definitely the way forward. There's still a couple of paths that we have not explored yet. See if that one F actually helps us to open this door. Nope. Well, fuck. How do we get in there? Are you telling me... Uh this mighty ass wizard doesn't even know the the basic spell knock to open up a door. Can't be that great of a wizard. Wait, you're a traitor? I think. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? Well... Where do you call home? Oh, dear me, I shouldn't pry. Oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. I've had better days. I was once the wife of royalty. And I have some nice things to show for it. Well, we're gonna have at least three bosses. So far, the, the, the trend has been either at least three or four, four. So I'm assuming. They have a very interesting way of structuring difficulty in this game. Because the way that it feels is they're basically. Uh, you have all of these, like, you. The worlds are usually referred to as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then dash, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, depending on the bonfire. I'm assuming the way it was intended is to go to uh, each world, and then, you and then do, like, the first boss, right? Because that was simple enough in, in, like, pretty much all of the worlds. And then you leave... And you start back at the other worlds, and then you start over with two. Bonfire two. And so on and so forth. You're not really... I don't feel like, especially with the skeletons, I don't feel like you're supposed to do a world in one go. You're supposed to leave, do something else, and come back. I feel like that's how they structure it. Because that is why everything is, like, piss easy right now. That's probably not gonna last, though. I'm scared. Why is she selling play curing? Oh, man. We're gonna buy some of those. Ring of Avarice. Ooh. No, we already have our wooden catalyst, don't we? She's 
sells Moonlight Stone though, and Full Moon Grass. That's pretty cool. And she sells it for a thousand three hundred instead of two thousand. That's also a pretty good deal. Gonna buy some more spice. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? Before, there were many others trapped here, but they went mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. The queen banished her depraved bit. old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. They pillaged great Latria, land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, They've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. I know the truth. The church goddess may die, but never for long. And we are trapped below forever. Redemption. Hey, well... Thank you. Now I can stay here for a little while longer. Well, she's nice enough, though. Uh... Oh, looking at her face, she looks. Uh, she looks a little bit, you know, very fucked up herself. Oh, this is the the dirt patch blow. All right, all right, all right. I think that might have been everything, though. Right? Now, how or where do we get the key, though? To open the cell of the magician. Because we have to venture a little deeper. Whoops. I don't think there's going to be a boss fight, like, right this moment. I feel like it's still a bit too early in the level for that. Yeah. Heavy crossbow, okay. I feel like it just keeps getting dark. Ow. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Stupid squid looking ass. I still don't quite know what what they do with the with the souls. Like, do they just it appears to be locked? Do they just eat the souls? Is that what like sustains humans? Please help me. Wait, who the fuck are you? Well, you are a sane one, aren't you? My name is Ridiel. Please liberate me from this cell. I have precious little time. 
I must retrieve an article from my corpse. That would be really funny, yeah? If we fight his body before him and take the item. Oh shit. So all of those are locked. Which means we need to go even deeper. Oh god, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That looks like a huge bug. Ball of people. Well, that was fucking nasty. Oh, it's more people in vases. I don't like how they're dropping items to cure plague. I thought we were finally done with the poisonous shit. Very small cells. It's very uncomfortable. Please help me. Silver bracelets. Nothing. Nothing. More nothing. Oh, item. And that goes back up. Which means that now we go in this direction, huh? Oh my god, lizard! Lizard! Oh, nice. This is a little bit confusing. One F. Oh my 
my goodness, where does this go? Oh, and that appears to be locked. That path, of course. Ho 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 ho. Almost walked right into that one. Check this side. Nope, we did not. These are still the small cells, right? Yeah. Unknown soldiers. One F. The S stock. Wait, there's an item outside the fence. Okay, this just seems to be a little side area that doesn't actually lead anywhere. What's that? It's like stuff that the Hmm. How do we get to the other side of the fence? Is there like a hole somewhere that I'm not seeing? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Alright, so that, and then we have... This is the only way forward? I believe? Yeah, because like the other side was locked. Oh. Right. Exactly sure what they were trying to tell us with that, but um I guess that is how you get the item. Oh my god. You're a very interesting contraption, ain't you? A Mercury Rapier plus one. Well, sucks that we ain't the dex build. Wait, no. 
please let me climb back up. Thank you. step <sighs> god this platforming shit always gives me like super anxiety you have no idea in, in these types of games way more than any other game okay inside the parameter again. So, what do we do here exactly? Yes, Talaxis. Dehydrated bitch! Yes, we can do that. Mm. Um... What's the gimmick here? I don't see it. They don't even reach us. to just roll through it. Ow. Ow. Was solved a lot easier than I expected. As long as it doesn't open back up now, but why did it open in the first place if it needs a lever? Clever rat's ring. Attack power rise at 30% or lower HP. Ooh, so it's basically a red tier stone ring. That looks super fucking ominous. Wait, 
What? Oh no, it's a candle, not an item. Okay, never mind. Never mind. What's the point of this? Oh, there's an item. Okay, well... Special key, that might be the one that opens the, the cell to the to the guy. Oh we shall see. If I can find my way back, because of my god this prison is a convoluted mess. And now if we can manage to not fuck up oh my god I can't even see. Huh. Where the fuck shoot me? Oh, the Phantom. As long as your dagger doesn't like do a spontaneous bleed damage or something, you're not gonna be okay. Well, you tried, I guess. Okay, now we have the other side of the tower. That goes... that goes somewhere else as well. Oh boy. somewhere that we can actually pick up an item or something, but I don't think so. Ooh, Silver Catalyst! Hello! I don't understand. So... It scales C... With, um... Magic. This also scales C with magic. And E with strength, apparently. For whatever un God, God only knows reason. But somehow, even though both scale with C with magic, this does 117 and this does 123. So, 
Why would she use this? Why, why, why would she use this, like, at all? Because, like, as long as you only cast magic with it... It's not even going to lose durability. There's like, there's, like, no point in this thing. Wait, didn't we have a ring that increased, like, melee damage? But it decreased, like, magic damage, I think. Should probably look that up at some point. Oh, right, we have that one area that I just recalled. Uh, we have this one area where we had the two doors that we couldn't open. Maybe this leads back to those. Oh, man, there's all the staircase and everything. Or maybe that's just a shortcut back. Could also be the case. Maybe we need to open, we can use the special key uh, to open the gates from the other side that we couldn't before, and then maybe and maybe that leads to the, uh, the shortcut through here. I have no idea, this place is very confusing. Nope, don't want to go back up. Also, what's this entire place over there? Wait. What the fuck is all of this? I didn't even look up. There's like a... It's, it's, it's like a huge spider web or something. No more spiders, please. We already fought one big spider in this game so far. I don't want to fight another one. Alright, now. Where was that room that actually led to the magic guy? Was it down here? Big spooter? No. Oh, no! Well... I think I might have a new thing that I want to add on to things that I hate in video games. Enemies that heal themselves. Enemies that... Uh... Oh great, and of course we open all of the doors so all of the fucking dudes are gonna be after us now. Enemies that spawn other enemies. Enemies that heal. Enemies that use explosives. And just like holes in the ground. I just fucking hate holes in the ground. Like, yeah, sure, make it dark. Make make the surrounding area fucking dark and then put a bunch of holes in the ground.
Excuse me? This was a lot easier when the cells were still closed. Okay. That was the thing that was blocked, which means we needed the way down. But where was the way down again? Just a glowy light. Oh, my finger's getting tired. Please help me. I'm 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 working on it. We're having some fucking technical difficulties here, my guy. What can I say? Wait, that's the fucking no. We walked. Ah, I walked in a circle. Oh, this is the bad form what I forgot. Uh, uh. I hate mazes. See, this is what I fucking get. Because I wanted to help the stupid NPC. Praying to me? I didn't even realize that. Are they like? Pr it looked like they were praying to me or something. They're not even attacking, but they drop items. They actually drop quite a few expensive items. What? The the need to re rises. Can you get out of the way? Alright, so this was the, uh... This is above the magic, dude. So now we go down here. Special key, there we go. Magnificent. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Frake. I am known as a sage. 
I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment, but I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. I have been in, but I can still. You didn't even give me like a like a catalyst or anything. Also, you're the guy that I was supposed to uh, save. So now we're gonna have like the proper. Uh, I think he's gonna be able to make um, the 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 boss weapon enchantments. Now, where was the other guy? Wait, was this? Yes. Aha! I knew it, and this is the shortcut. Really? You can't be fucked over both sides? Okay, he's over there somewhere. Cause then we can free him too. And then we pretty much have done everything that I can think of. In this area of the game, at least. Was he over here? Wait, that, that appears to be locked. Get fucked, squid. Wait, what? As you can see. The only thing that remains of me is my soul. Yeah? My body is trapped in another cell. I fancy it a fine, rotten mess by now. I've no interest in my corporeal flesh, but I left upon my person a keepsake of my late wife. I will soon fade into the beyond. My only wish is to do so near that token of my beloved. So find the thing. A retainer to the king once held the key to this cell. That ebony swine with his gluttonous swaying belly. As you can see, my body, I've no... I... Uh, so, hmm. Actually, that reminds me. We have found on one of the jesters. There's also still the mausoleum. Yeah, I have no idea where the mausoleum is supposed to be. Uh, the blood iron key. 
I found that on one of the Jester guys in uh, Boletaria. I have no idea where it goes or what it does. So at the very minimum, there's still two more doors. Wait, there's Please items. Help me. Calm down, my god. I'll help you when I can, if I can. How do I get to the other side of this? So if we find a fat dude that drops a key, that's that's for that's for the guy's cell. This one leads to the shortcut? I think so. Yes. Well, how nice it is of them to give us a shortcut, I guess, right? Not like it still needs, like, ten minutes to walk to the boss from here. I'm assuming it's gotta be a boss with all of the, the prelude to all of this. That one is still deactivated. Good. Check, we have some spice, we have our healing items. Oh. If you didn't know it was a boss, then now you do. I have to pee. Oh. Four arms. FromSoft really has a thing for four arms, don't they? What's her gimmick gonna be, huh? Are you gonna shoot shit at me? You're probably gonna shoot shit at me. Oh god! Unlocking me. I guess you're not the real one. But you are. Well, that was easy. She is only the first boss of the world, so... Another redo, it never ends. Maybe. 
feel like I've saw I've seen more than one item though that was in this room. That voice is reviving the idol. What voice? They're up above. Oh. Was that that? Okay. No touch. Are you for realius? There was still an item. Oh really? You're just gonna put me at the. The top of the stairs. You could just drag me all the way up the stairs. That that looks really dangerous. Man I want that item. This looks fascinating. Oh, it's cha chains? Apparently it's chains. Oh, I want that item, but I really can't be fucked. To go all the way back down and find my way through the entire prison again just to grab that I hi patches just to grab that item actually that's only half the souls we need for a level up so I didn't even necessarily would have needed to come back here I guess I can Might as well give everything a do-over, though. Deep inside, stop the bone. Okay, no new dialogue. Do come back. Thank goodness, I was worried. Deposit. All oh, right, and the the sage. I really forgot about that. The sage is uh should be here now. Kite shield, when did I pick that up? Definitely has a higher base rate though of guard damage reduction. I might have to like, once again, uh, do a little grind and just grab some shard stones. To upgrade another one of those shields, because they have the, I'm, I think, I think, the higher the guard break reduction was, um, the less stamina it drains when you block something, I believe. We'll put it in storage for now. Fluted armor. 34. I guess that would have been an intermediate upgrade. Slightly lighter, but not nearly as much protection. Let's 
just gonna keep that. We are in. Okay. There's the sage. You saved Sage Freight, did you not? Yes. Then I was right to bend the rules and teach you a few tricks. Nevertheless, I'm grateful to you. Do you see how important selfless acts are in this dreary world? I guess? What is it? Are you still begging for magic lessons? Ah, oh, so be it. Damn. Better than having you bother Sage Freight. I will bother him either way. Nothing new, though. Sage Frake prefers to work alone. Do not dare to bother him by gabbing about trifling nonsense. He is on the verge of discovering something that will rival even the demon souls. I see. Sure. Hmm. I have a proposal for you. Could you bring your demon souls to me? As I determine more about the essence of the soul. I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand me? Aha. So now, we can learn all sort of shit. If we used to, that is. I actually have no idea, like, this does not tell you how much, um, how much damage any of this does. Poison cloud, acid cloud, death cloud. Well, I mean, so far the soul arrow has, uh, has worked well enough. I guess maybe the soul ray would be a direct upgrade? Or something? I don't know. I mean, we might as well buy it, why not? We've never done anything with the souls of the, of the bosses before. Bring me more demons, so I patiently await you, my fine magician friend. See, he calls himself a magician too. It's not just me. They they say that shit too. I patches. Um, I am going to take a quick small break though to uh, go to the bathroom, and then I will be right back. Okay, see you guys in a few minutes.
I'm back. Just noticed that it's like raining pretty heavily outside. You know, for for uh, it's supposedly I think it's still winter, right? Maybe. Or do we already have spring? It doesn't matter. Spring, winter, it just it just rains a ton of both. Thank you, Alexis. Already. Man, now I have to actually figure out something on the weekend. What I'm gonna do. I've not seen you of late. <laughs> I no. did not want to talk to you, Patches. I wanted to. You sell those as well now? Wait, do you sell humanity for 50,000? Fine. Um, because you know, like I mentioned, I after Demon Souls, I wanted uh, to play Dragon's Dogma too. But anybody that's aware, uh, the game is a bit of an absolute uh, mess. And uh, a piece of shit right now. Not because necessarily the game is bad itself, but because of the business practices of Capcom. Oh, great. You know what I just realized? Plenty of fucking places where we can fall off again. I always love falling off places. It's my favorite. So I don't know. I got I got to like check on the weekend what we do. Okay. Can you get fucked or something? Oh. Buy item. Whatever it was. So I have no idea. Maybe uh, I'll check out. Because we don't really have any community requests at the moment. Uh, Arika said that we could potentially maybe play some Remnants of the Ashes. But I forgot to buy that game while it was on sale, and it's 70 fucking dollars, so. sure if that is in the cards right now. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh man, that sucks because like Dragon's Dogma looked so promising. You know, like even with the the free demo character editor thing. It, it looked so promising and people were like super stoked and, and like a ton of people played it on launch yesterday and then, you know, the game received a uh, mostly negative like 36% yesterday. And why? The game itself might be great. Not like you can play it. Because the performance is shit. Because of course you have both not only De Nuvo, DRM, but also De Nuvo anti-temper as well, because you know, gotta gotta have your your um, anti-cheat protection in a single-player only game, right? And you know why that is? Because of course they have premium currency in a single-player game, and to make sure that you can't fudge or cheat the premium currency, your single-player game has an always online connection with De Nuvo. Doesn't that sound amazing? Don't you just like want to play that game like right now? Well, guess what? Denuvo also does the typical thing that Denuvo does, which is decreasing the performance and causing stutters and lags. Fucking Capcom, man. Like Cap Capcom are so aggressive with their microtransactions. So aggressive. And they've been criticized every single time for it. Literally every single time, but they can't help themselves. They just keep doing it. And I, and I bet you, especially that Denuvo shit, it's not gonna change because, like, like always, I'm pretty sure their, their main demographic is actually not meant uh, for PC. I'm pretty sure the main demographic is meant for for consoles, I'm assuming. Can you not? we'll see because at, at, at the very least um because I've, I've i've looked into that a little bit and i know that resident evil village ran perfectly fine for me but i've also read that resident evil village had like absolutely terrible performance when it launched because of denuvo so we can only hope because usually at least they're in the habit of when it gets cracked. Because, like, like Denuvo is such a joke nowadays. Like, what? It usually takes takes uh, those people that make the the cracks for the games. It takes them, like, what, a couple of days after the game comes out? Or, you know, in the case of Hitman 2, when that launched, uh, it, it, it was, like, launched four or five days before the game actually had come out. Like, it's such a joke. And then think about the fact... I just wanted to think about the the fact for a moment that... The, if the game runs better without De Nuvo, That means, in turn, the people who are playing, like, the cracked versions of these games without De Nuvo, And they run good for them. Means they... The people who don't illegally download those video games... Have, an, have a superior experience playing the video game than the actual legitimate customers that buy the game. I want you to think about that just for a second. It's fucking ridiculous. And, th and then Dragon's Dogma 2 costs 70 fucking dollars. 70 fucking dollars and it's full of microtransactions. 
Like, no. If you want $70 from me for a video game, you better keep that fucking shit out of those games. Well, if you want to have microtransactions, I will admit, Helldivers did it in a pretty good way. Like, like, I will not... I will not accept microtransactions, period. Like, just, just, just period, any, any ever. But I will say that the way that Helldivers did it is definitely the least exploitive way that I've seen yet. Because the battle passes don't disappear. They're they're not like meant to be like a gotcha system. You know, you can you can buy them whenever, it doesn't matter. They will just all be subsequently available. And then you after like because you, you can you can get a good decent amount. You get like per per premium pass, you get like three hundred premium currency, I think. And Helldivers. And you can grind the, the currency, like, I'm already sitting at, at, like, 800 again, now. And I, I have bought both of the, uh, premium passes. And if there's, like, a, like, a month or two gap in between... Oh, fuck me. Between the passes... I really don't see there being an issue. Oh. oh, that was close. At least in my opinion. Like, you can actually earn it. Because what drives me a bit nuts is, is when you have, like, these companies or these games and they're like, oh, you can earn the premium currency. Then you have something like, like Halo Infinite on launch, where it took you like, like what, 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 what was it in Halo Infinite? Like hundreds or even thousands of hours just to unlock the cosmetics for one armor. Like, like yeah, on paper, theoretically speaking, it is a possibility to earn it, sure, but is it feasible? 3,500 hours, something like that. Something absolutely stupid. It's like, yeah, no, just, just, just something. So they could be like, yeah, you can earn it. You don't have to pay, you can earn it. Fucking vultures, man, all of them. And, and then they have the audacity to, like, whine at things like... Uh, re remember when AAA is doing, like, a, a bunch of, like, huge AAA studios, like EA, Ubisoft, Activision? Where they were, like, all whining when Baldur's Gate came out? Because how dare does, does a studio like Larian, right, bring out a product? That is... Well, yes, granted, it had some issues. It didn't run perfectly smooth, especially in Chapter 3, but we could play the game. I played the game on launch, and I had no great game-breaking bugs, and I progressed just fine, and I had an absolute amazing time, and I would totally love to uh, have, like, a stream project for Baldur's Gate. It's just a super huge game, so we would be playing that for, like, ages, is the thing. Right? I'd be super down, and then everybody fucking bitched and moaned and whined. Like, all of the big AAA studios, they, they threw an absolute fit. That, that, that it, Baldur's Gate 3 would be, uh, like, like an, in, would be like an impossible standard to have, right? Fucking laughable. Absolutely laughable. Remember when Bethesda bitched? And said that the poor sales of Starfield were directly related to uh, to um, to Baldur's Gate, or when when Activision bitched that the poor player numbers were because of uh, because of Baldur's Gate. Well, first of all, how the fuck how, how do you dare even even blame a different game? That just means that game is superior to your game. 
if people that played your game are not sticking with your game and then go and play a different game. That just means the other company has a superior product or yours, first of all. And second, just, 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 the amount of fucking gull you need. Oh, this is awkward. To, like, sit there and because you're just a greedy piece, soulless piece of shit that literally views video games just as a profit margin. That it's just something to generate more money. And then somebody like Larian Studios comes along that they have an actual vision. An actual goal. And they want to create an immersive piece of, of, of art with an incredible storytelling that, that, you know, draws in the player. And gets them their, their money's worth and takes them on an amazing journey. And then you bitch and moan about it. Like, how... How dare you? But it's, it's like, you know, you know what even, what drives me more nuts about this, though? The fact that there are people who then will defend these soulless companies that, that will gut them for all their money. That, that are literally, you know, like, like, if you're a regular player that plays, you know, like, Activision games or whatnot, and then defends that company for their actions, then you're just a pay pig for them. You don't mean jack shit. These companies don't give don't these companies don't give a single fuck about their community. They do what generates them more money. This is why I love whenever whenever anybody says in those like companies, oh we did this sort of thing or this thing is that way because we can't do it any other way, you know? Because of having whatever limitation. Right? And I just think it's fucking hilarious. Because you oftentimes see that the moment... The moment they actually fuck up to such a degree that they start losing, actively losing profits... Suddenly things change. Look at Halo. Look at fucking Halo. What did Halo do? Right? They're like, oh hey, this... Uh, all of this stuff has to be this way because of, like, programming limitations or whatever their stupid excuse was. And then people stop playing the game. And then suddenly, like a month later... Look at that, they introduced all of the game modes that supposedly didn't work. Or that couldn't be introduced. Look, oh fucking wonder. So, like, if you want things to change, stop buying shit. That's, like, the only thing that I can say. That's, like, the thing that people never understand. Like, oftentimes people will just buy something because they're a fan of the IP or whatever. And then they're like, yeah, it, it's, it might be in a little rough spot now, but give it like a couple of months and it'll be better and I'm just sitting here fucking... No. Give me a product that works. If you want to expand on the product after the fact, that's fine. I have less of an issue with live action games than a lot of other people. I have an issue with lazy live action, okay? That is what I have a problem with. Look at Helldivers. The game was feature complete when it came out, much like Baldur's Gate. If Baldur's Gate was like, hey, we're gonna do DLC, I'd, I'd be like, sure. Oh. Bye. This better not be more poison shit. You 
What the fuck are you? Like, there's a lot of ways you can make a lot of different service models work, I will admit. Yes, video games cost money. Servers cost money. But that's the problem. That's like, that's like the thing that people never want to understand. It's not just the running cost. It is never just about the running cost. Those people in those companies, those big AAA studios, they're they're not designers. They're not like not like in, with Larian, where you have a visionary at the very top of the the project that wants to create pieces of art. No, no, no. That's not the case. What what sits at the very top of their food chain is a guy in a suit who has no fucking idea about video games. Who only, if anything, studied numbers, and he's only interested about the numbers. Can that product generate X amount of number? If not, then he doesn't care. And that's the problem, because there is, with those big corporate companies, you will always just have a suit sitting at the very top. And suits don't make decisions in favor of the people, in favor of the community or the players. They don't give a shit. They only want to see the numbers. And that's a shame because I know for a fact, we, we all know as a community, there's a lot of creative people. Like, I'm pretty sure Ubisoft probably has a ton of creative people. I fucking bet you EA has a ton of creative people. Hell, Activision probably has a ton of creative people in their studios, like in the actual development, but they're not allowed to create. Because creation doesn't generate all of the money. Look at fucking Rockstar. Rockstar's a weird combination because, like,. Because everybody un usually universally agrees that Rockstar makes makes great games, like great single-player experiences, right? And they're usually pretty polished as well at launch. And then usually it's the it's the online that is problematic. Even though I thought I I personally liked that? I liked Red Dead Online a lot. But you know, because it only sold like what, a hundred and forty million copies combined or something ridiculous like that. It didn't make them all the money. It's not like a three hundred plus million copy GTA five, you know? No 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 no. So because it didn't make all of the money, they said, fuck it, we're not going to develop Red Dead Online anymore, we're only going to concentrate on development of GTA 6 now. And of course, like, making additional content for GTA Online. Because GTA Online, wh what was the statistic on GTA Online? It makes like 12 million dollars on average a day. Like, that's fucking crazy. 12 million, imagine, like, that, just that amount of money. That must probably be, like, the most profitable video game of all time. Uh, I'm rambling again. It just annoys me. Because there's so many good video games. Especially when I'm excited for a video game and then it just turns out to be absolute shit. I'm gonna be very, very sad if Stalker... I don't believe that the Stalker team would do something like that. But, 
you never know. I just want to get... See, Stalker, honestly, with how rough the whole development was for the team, I don't even, like, expect the game to be a masterpiece. I mean, of course, it'd be, it'd be amazing if it was. Of course. But as long as the game is decent and complete... I want to be happy. Because I... Fuck. I played the original Stalker games. They're special. In, in a way. Because, man, if you ever played Stalker, you know what I'm talking about. They're, um, they're a bit very much jank. They can be a pain in the ass to get to run. Reliably. Um, and they're just kind of weird. And a lot of the gameplay elements are very questionable in design. But but there is such a, they they have such a unique and interesting atmosphere that for a lot of people they have a very very special place in their heart, you know? And everybody, uh, at least I know a lot of people, well, I don't know a lot of people, but I'm very excited for Stalker 2. The The team is incredibly creative behind Stalker. And I think with, with an engine that is capable, such as, you know, now Unreal, I think they can potentially create an absolutely stunning game. Absolutely. But we will have to wait and see. Just when I see things like the like the dragon's dogma thing and it's every every single decision that has been made has been made for the sake of maximizing profits and not for the sake of the community or the players, then all I can see is a company that has lost its way. Because that is not, in my opinion, I mean, sadly, that is how you make a lot of money. Because, sadly, there's a lot of people that will still buy it. There's a lot of people that won't care. And that's the problem. People should care more, and they don't. Because why, why do we play video games? Why do we play video games? We play video games for a sense of escapism, right? Because we don't want to be reminded of what's going on in the world, of like stupid politics, or our personal issues, or whatever, whatever is going on around you or in the world or where you're at. They help us to dive into a world where we can just, like, not think about these issues for a while. And that's also why I have a problem with when people are, like, putting their, their ideals and politics, no matter what alignment they, they follow, into video games. Because that's not why I play video games. You know? I play video games to have fun and not to think about these issues. And frankly, in that sense, I'm, I'm very tolerant, I guess. Because as long as you don't force your opinion on other people, I'm, a, I'm at the very firm belief everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Period. And it doesn't care. And even if you have different opinions, guess what? You can still be friends with people that have different opinions than you. The, the opinions generally don't define you as a as a person. You can have you can have di completely different opinions and be on either side of the political spectrum, or in between. Who the fuck cares? And still be a decent human being. But it is something that people nowadays oftentimes don't realize. I mean, 
both sides don't help one another because oftentimes it just ends into an like when when two people with op uh, opposing political opinions have a conversation oftentimes just ends up with them screaming yelling and insulting one another so <sighs> that is why the best way i found to deal with these things is to just not talk about them because politics is is something that generally nowadays at least it divides and at least here in my community that I'm trying to build I'm not looking for to divide people everybody is welcome here as long as everybody can behave everybody is welcome here and it doesn't matter who you are Nice view would actually get staggered. Right. Very long ramble. Hey, at least commentary, right? Never know what to talk about. Because Souls games are not really. You can sort of see what's going on, and fuck knows if I know what's happening in the story. I just saw these things are kind of nasty, I won't be honest. Honestly, I, w I would love to have like debates though. Have debates, talk about different opinions. Just have general conversation, but the problem is, like, whenever you're disagreeing, oftentimes it just leads to uh, exclusion of other people. Either intentional or they feel excluded, you know? I feel like shields are kind of strong in this game. If you make a strength build that can handle one of those tower shields and upgrade that, oh my god, nothing could nothing could stagger you. If you combine it with one of those stupid spears, that spear that the one guy used in Volataria, the Red Phantom, that almost looked like that spear. Uh, f that the, um, oh, what was it called? Oh. That looked like that spear that came out of the gate from the very first boss, the phalanx. Maybe you can actually craft that, but you probably need, like, a spear plus five or something like that, and the soul to craft it, I'm guessing. I don't. I don't really know what the what the whole point of this area was, by the way.
Oh. There's another tower. That, that, that was the whole point. Okay, got it. What even is this thing, and why are we, uh... Really nasty. I don't know if I would call those spiders. They look interesting. Alright, okay, now that just helps us to double back. And I guess now we can go down to where that blockage was. On the middle platform. Interesting. Oh, hey, and you guys are up here too. Creepers. I mean, they do look pretty creepy, don't they? Yeah. They're not hard. This is where it goes down. I don't really like it when they give you like enemies on stairs. Cause I feel like all of this is just designed to make you fall off. I guess scorpions would fit the description better, but um, we did also establish the other day that scorpions are in fact... Oh. That scorpions are actually in the family of arachnids. Golden Mask and EP Rapier. To Rapier is EP. Oh, hey, there's the Ring of Avarice. It's always kind of silly to me that in these games... Because I think, like, it was it was Dark Souls 2, where we were allowed to, wa uh, to wear four rings. It's always funny to me how in these games, you know, you're only allowed Dark Souls... Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1, how you're only allowed to wear two rings. It, it's like, it's like, guys. Do you know where I can put rings? I can, I can, I have ten fingers. I can put on at least ten rings. I can put two rings on one finger. Hell, I can put fucking rings on my toes. I, I can wear fifty rings all over my body. Okay, where are we going, by the way? I think this is where we uh, use the elevator, right? I think so, which is now lowered. Uh, it's a bit of a problem.
now I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, they did climb out the the mid. Wait, do we have to like climb in the middle here somehow? There are other places for rings, nose, ears. Those places, toes, and necklaces. Yeah, but those are kind of those would then be considered piercings. I don't have a problem with them being like more traditional rings. That you put on, but it's like two rings. Like, come on. You can literally, if you just want to go with like one ring, you can put one ring on on every finger. That's what I mean. Oh man, where are we going? Oh wait. We can walk along the upper uh, level now because the uh, the tendrils went away before. I think. It's literally the only thing I can think of. This way. Oh, that's a that's a pot. I was like, is there a dude sitting in front of the brazier? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That is, that is where the uh, thing was. What is glowing down there? I think it might just be a torch. Wait. There's an item over there. How do you get to that? Hold on, item. Wait, another rune sword and rune shield? Are you telling me there's like a way that we could have like saved a Strava or something? Lots of double things that you get in this game. I guess I, I guess now you could fight with a dual rune sword if you wanted. Okay. 
no glowy. Man, who built all of this shit is what I want to know. OSHA would have a word to talk with you. There has to be like a... Now that... Is a piece of shit place. To put this guy in. That was stupid. Because literally within the animation... Oh my god, how am I supposed to get past this guy now? He literally stunlocked me, and then even before I got up... I can't even lock onto him. I can't even lock onto him, brother. No, 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 I didn't have my sword! Come on, let me equip my sword! Let me equip my sword now! See, I didn't want to say it earlier, but I was like, man, we did this whole area without falling down from something. Dude. See, it's this kind of shit that pisses me off in these games when it's just blatantly unfair. You literally have an enemy that stunlocks you, has a rapid spell casting, and a shockwave that pushes you around, and you place him on a narrow staircase that pushes you into the abyss if you fall off. That is. That is like the biggest horse shit. No, oh, this is the way. And of course, the fucking character takes 12 years to- Can you get your ass down from up there? Because of course, the character takes 12 years to switch the fucking weapon weapons. I guess at least, uh... Okay. I guess at least uh, the, the walkway up to it is fairly short. Just remembered something. Don't we get, like, more red phantoms when we have, like... A, a black... Or a dark world tendency. We don't even have a dark tendency. Ours is tending towards towards light. Okay, wait, there's an item beneath the stairs that I didn't even see. So fucking stupid. You're not dead yet. 
Right, just uh, catch them when they're turning around, I guess. Hi, beer fan. I hate this game. It definitely comes and goes in waves, I gotta be honest. Sometimes I really hate this game when the when it's just straight up unfair bullshit. Maybe because it's hard. Actually, uh, honestly, in comparison to the other games, like especially Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3, this game has not been that bad. I want to say it's it's definitely uh, if I should should make an estimate, it's probably at 30%. 25 to 30 percent in my opinion easier than Dark Souls 1 I found it too difficult honestly with enough dedication you, you can go through all of these games no problem That's the thing, dying is, is sort of like part of the gameplay loop, right? But we've been doing pretty good. I mean, I do throw a lot of items your way if you know where to look. And definitely gathering upgrade pieces for your uh, items, for your weapons and stuff, is not nearly as bad either. Oh. Hmm. Camera. Oh, yeah, he can fly. Okay. Well. Where the fuck are you going? Come back here. As long as he doesn't push me out of the arena. Oh, I cut off his tail. Okay, they're dead. You stuck. Because the camera mode. Anna, if you have more skill than me, there's a second one. There's a second one. Get down here! the other one. Okay, now it's only one. Oh, he can, he can cast spells. If you have more skill than me, you can, you can definitely use the free aim mode. Brother. Ow. Bro, can you like... Can you like land? So I can stab you? Bye. Okay, this one sucks a little bit, we'll be honest. Oh, right, I think... Are they casting magic with their tail? Is that why we can cut them off? Oh, I'm Mr. No-Skill. 
That just means you haven't found your right game, honestly. Like I thought, th I thought that for a long time too, to be honest, because I w I played a lot of shooters and a lot of competitive games when I was younger, and I was never good at them. And I was like, man, I just suck at video games, like in general. And then I just, you just have to like find the kind of games you're good at. That's all you gotta do. Or, or you just have to like, I know it's, it's easier said than done, but like this this mentality of I have to win, I, I know I struggle with that sometimes, because I tend to do it occasionally, but like, you don't always have to win, you know? It's like, yeah, game, games are more fun when you're doing good at them, of course. Absolutely. But you don't have to be good or do well to enjoy a video game. You know? At least not in my opinion. There's probably people that would disagree with you, but... Generally, I try not to be a tryhard. Uh, should we? Yeah, sure. Go back to the Nexus, which this was... What boss was it? No, this is still the tower, so this was boss two. Which means that it depends. Maybe we have one more boss, or we already have the Archdemon next. We Maybe. Who, who knows? Thou seeketh the entire soul of the mind. Keep but like honestly, I don't I don't think I don't think this is a bad soul Souls game to get into it. Like the um Elden Ring I don't know. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I I liked I liked Elden Ring a lot. And I'm super stoked to play the DLC, but I would not recommend somebody who wants to get like into the Souls franchise as a whole. I would not recommend to start with Elden Ring. Elden Ring is definitely a game for more experienced Soul players, in my opinion. Sure, health. Why not? Art thou done? Just talking to Adam. Main thine Love the hit and run Simpsons help. game. Uh, oh boy. Was that the one that's on PSP? Because I think I had that when I wasn't. when I had a PSP, I believe. PlayStation 2. Okay. You're doing all right there, my guy. on PSP, maybe. Oh, he's naked now. And now he's dead. Alright then. Stone. 
I the only thing I remember from that game is that there was like a like a boss fight against uh, the big burger statue. Ow, oh god. Why did that do so much damage? And I only ever managed to uh, to 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 win that fight through just sheer luck. There was no strategy. There was, it, it was just like eventually at some point it would just I would just win. I definitely remember enjoying the the my PSP a lot, but I think the the biggest issue that I remember with the PSP was that it was like super unreliable and uh, it it was prone to breaking a lot at least. I I don't know if I was just like super like careless as a kid or something like that. I don't know. Aha. Which kind of like... Makes me a bit sad. Because like... I, I maybe maybe I should tell a story. I have like a, a, a small idea that should I ever manage to get a decent amount of money, I kind of want to buy. Uh, what do you call those things? Like one of those glass. Um. Displays. I think it's just called a display. Like it's basically one of those glass racks, with with glass doors that you put things in and to display them. And I kind of just like want to want to make a collection of things that meant something to me when uh, when I was a kid, because there's a lot of keepsakes that I have, you know. Like for example, I have one controller that I remember because I had a PlayStation Three when I was a kid. I had a PSP and a PlayStation Three, which I had to work for myself, and I was like one of those. I was so stupid when I was small. I, I tend to, like, when I played Call of Duty or whatever, uh, or Battlefield, there were a lot of the times when, when I broke my controller, like, out of frustration, and then, you know, like, I had, I had to work with a, or play with a broken controller, or, uh, you know, I work for it to get a replacement. And one, I think on my, it was on my birthday, like, I was, like, 12 or 13, uh, my mom, for my birthday, gave me a silver PS3 controller. And I treasured that thing so much. Like, that was one of the few controllers that I would that I would never throw or anything. And I still use that controller. Uh, like, way even when I started using PC. And I still have that controller, even though I, I replaced it at some point with a PlayStation 4 controller. Because uh, like the problem is when you use them on PC for a lot for a long time, the uh, the USB C port, uh, like it gets really wobbly, and then those controllers tend to disconnect a lot. But it like, in essence, it's still functional. It just you know it has that wobbly port. So I replaced it with a PlayStation Four, um, which I'm using right now. But I still kept it. And I want to just put that, like, on, on display, just, like, as a personal keepsake collection for myself, I guess. And if I, like, that is, that is, should I have, like, an excess of money, that is, which I've, like, so far in my life never really had. I also want to see if I can buy, because, uh, like, the PSP broke at some point. I don't remember. Um, it was also a silver one. So I want to put that in, like, in the display case. That, that's like a bit of like a dream of mine that I can like put together this display case of keepsakes. And I want to put that controller in there. Because my, my mom is a great person. Huh? Like my mom, I had a lot of issues and still have a lot of issues. But my, my mom is like always was always the person that was there and always helped me through all hardships. Like she she is every good trait that I possess, every good trait that I have, which... God knows, or not many, but every good trait that I possess, 
I want to contribute to her. Definitely. Oh. As long as you don't start casting magic, I think we should be good. You start casting magic. Oh, fuck me. Oh, dodge. Okay, well... And that was a silver trophy? Always have to be good to mom. I live for my mom to this day still, and I help her around the house. Yeah. My mom is still living in the same house as me as well. I ju we just have different uh, floors. Like I live on the, she lives on the ground floor. I live on the uh, first floor. I don't know. I don't know what you call that first uh, or second floor, the one above the ground floor. And because um, it's just, we live in the middle of nowhere, and getting your own own like apartment or property here is very expensive, and it only got more expensive like in time. So, like, just economical-wise, I couldn't even, like, afford to move anywhere. Oh. Zoomies. Babe, I'm back. I can forge web. It's also been very expensive here. I think it's probably been expensive everywhere, to be honest. Do come. That is the sad reality of it. Hark, I hear voice of your. The old one is calling for thee. Let us proceed below to its lair. I just wanted to level up. I did not consent to this. Yeah, I think it's been like expensive everywhere though. Is the is the problem? Fucking modern day economy, man. It sucks.
Do I have to fight this? I don't want to fight that. That is very big. Old one, I have brought thee what thou wishest. Thy new demon. Come now, be good. Demon? I'm no demon! I'm a human! God damn it. Controller is just gyrating all over the place. Am I going to have to fight our, like, fire keeper or something? Be back in a while after checking something? Alright! Talk later. Alright, thank you so much for swinging by. I appreciate it. Yeah, level up. Let us proceed below to it. Let us proceed. No level up? Okay, well. By the old one. Shalt thou seek everlasting demon souls? Or obey that naive monumental? Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. The faith poison poison. God is merciful. Created the old one. Are you joke? The old one will feed upon our souls. Are you fraud? Tragic veil of existence. Are you. Uh... You're a joke, aren't you? You're like a fake out. You're not the real boss. No one wishes to go on. Okay. Thine work is done. It is. Slayer of demons, go back above. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. I shall lull the old one back to slumber. So this this was the prophecy. We were like chosen to fifteen thousand souls. Wait, what? The old one and I shall slumber interminably. That is the way it must be. Thou mayst go. Be gone to thine world. I guess that's the good thing? Oh, soul brand. I guess now we get to choose. We could probably kill her and take our and take the power of the old one to control the world, or we could do what the monument said and leave, uh, put the old one back to slumber, which will get rid of the demons so that the world of men may arise again. I th I think that's the good ending. My thanks. At last, at last, my duty is fulfilled. We 
could go back if we wanted to. Nope. Okay. So the big tree looking thing is what caused all of the demons. Damn it. The old one, along with the maiden, were swept back into the lulling fog. Boletaria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of soul arts. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. Again? And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. A brave new hero of unprecedented power. I don't know about that. We've struggled a lot to get to this point. Demon Souls. Is that it? Hey, that's it. We finished it. Damn. That was a lot shorter than I expected. Shit. Actually, that's a problem. Because now I actually have no idea what we're going to play on Monday. I wanted to play uh, Dragon's Dogma, but, you know, like I rambled on before, uh... That's not in a good good state right now. Um, shit. Oh boy. That's a problem. I'm gonna have to figure that out over the weekend. Somehow. But yeah. That did not take that long. Surprisingly. I'm gonna check you in a moment how much or uh, how long our playtime is. But I—I uh, I know I know we ran into a couple of moments when I had bitched and complained a lot, especially the skeletons. The skeletons were not a high point of this playthrough, I will admit. But, but overall, I do want to say it was pretty nice. Yeah, it was a bit tedious here and there, but um overall this was pretty okay. This was this was a pretty nice uh, pretty nice journey. That was uh definitely something and I never uh never played Demon Souls before, so who knows? May maybe in a year's time or something like that, we'll get uh We'll get Demon Souls remastered on PC. Who knows? I would definitely be down to uh, give it another go. When was this developed? 2009. My god. Sony Computer Entertainment. <sighs> do, you, do you guys... Do you guys know that feeling when you get a little bit sad when you finish a game that you overall had a good time with? Because now I kind of feel like I want to do the other Souls games. But they're all pretty... Like, this was okay. This this took us, like, what, a bit, a bit over a week to finish? The other Souls games are much... Especially Dark Souls 2 is, like, so long... A playthrough of Dark Souls 2 is like is like a good 50 hours or so. So that would keep us occupied a long time, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Alright, I guess I gotta figure that out. Maybe we'll grab uh that that one game that was requested. Uh, Remnant of the Ashes. No, so maybe maybe we'll we'll just play more Minecraft. 
because that has been pretty fun so far. I would like to play that more. But yeah, that was Demon Souls. No, not much else to say. Hopefully the credits are over here in a second. Guys, make sure if you have a request. Oh, we get the soul? Now what? from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Oh hey, it's us. Again. Did this game have New Game Plus already? I mean, I assume so, because why else would we get the... This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to the A gold trophy, nice. And now we're back! Hell yeah! So now we could do a uh, new game plus. Neat. I might just play some more of this in my own time. Who knows? But uh, yeah, that was that was Demon Souls. Let's let's exit to uh, to the title screen. Look at our stats. We played 24 hours 40 minutes, and we reached level 76. Interesting. Yeah, definitely much shorter. That That's almost half. Like, I know for Dark Souls or so, like the first one, it always took me about 40 hours to beat. But yeah, that was, uh, that was Demon Souls. Oh, what a journey. Okay. At this point, I want to say, since we're done with the game, I want to say thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the show, if you like what you see, if you like hanging out, chatting, and watching me play games, maybe consider leaving a follow if you haven't already. I also have a Discord that you can join, and if you pick the streaming role, you'll get a live notification whenever I go live so that you'll never miss me again. And that's everything I have to say. Make sure you check back again in a couple of hours. Two to three at most. And then today, we're going to be playing some more Minecraft with Celeste. Or maybe without Celeste, I don't know. We're definitely going to do some more of that. And uh, yeah, I hope that I can catch all of you guys back in the next one. Let's quickly find somebody to raid here. How about Schmidt? We have not raided Schmidt before. I don't think, at least. So let's go and raid Schmidt. And, uh, yeah, I hope that I can catch you guys back in the next one. But until then, thank you once again so much for watching. And until then, bye bye!